Today we conquer the Frostland. We'll be sending out masses of people from the main city to go and colonize the food, fuel and material settlements. So we are playing the Utopia Builder on Colonize the Frostland and well we're playing on the Broken Shore map which is probably not the best <laughs> because it's quite small but it is interesting and we haven't played this one before so we'll see how this goes. Um, first things first, I need to get the basics sorted but also I want to get onto that Frostland as soon as possible because if we are going to have this huge population we're going to need resources from the Frostland to sustain it. So. Uh, we're gonna have to do a lot of exploring a lot of um, a lot of resource gathering out in the frostland and setting up those colonies uh, fairly quickly is going to be important as well um, I'm gonna break over to this oil here because I don't want to waste any time on getting to that and I think that is it for frost breaking at the moment let's get housing sorted we're on minus 67 so we're gonna need four districts uh, we don't have a lot of space around here so you know what actually let's go over this side and we'll try and do a little bit of a efficient layout so we can um, make use of the heat bonuses and stuff so let's go one two three and we'll follow that down there as well and then I think I'll just do a couple a couple like this as well one over there and then one more just over here we will expand those because I want to get a um, I want to get a research institute and a council set up ASAP in fact let's do the council now we'll build uh, build that and we are going to raise funds so it's good to raise funds straight away these are on a 50 week cooldown so the quicker you raise funds the quicker you can use that again and you may as well just use it uh, so yeah let's wait for all that to be built a lot of things are going to happen at once here so council first things first we are going to look to increase the amount of heat stamps because i need to sort that out quickly because that's one of the things in our all of our other playthroughs i just haven't sorted out is like the heat stamp issue we always run out of heat stamps and i know the reason for that now so what we are going to do is community service we're going to do service exemptions to start with i'm going to negotiate to get it through now i do want to well, I do want to enact paid essentials, so let's get that promised to the merchants. We'll vote for that. Should go through. Uh, but yeah, the key to getting heat stamps is actually getting your goods production up. The more goods you have, the more heat stamps you're going to come in. Uh, yeah, the more heat stamps you're going to take, which uh, is what I haven't done on all my other playthroughs, really. <laughs> I've always neglected the the goods manufacturer, so we won't we won't sleep on that this time. Uh, let's continue with frost breaking down to these way stations. Won't be able to get there just yet. Where else can we go? Uh, we can go to this one. So you know what? We may actually do a logistics district over there straight away. Uh, let's get one of these expanded. I said I was going to do an efficient layout. I don't think this is an efficient layout, but <laughs> I think it's fine for now. Uh, we do want uh, an extraction district up here, don't we? getting this uh, coal collected up so let's get that going and I need to think about prefabs as well so let's get those coming in and then we'll put another extraction district over on those coal deposits and that should be good to go we do need to think about food we're minus 104 so we would like to get that sorted as soon as we can as well but you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna do? I am gonna favor the logistics district because we can find survivors, we can find resources, we can find loads of stuff out there. And uh, that's all good. Uh, city, paid essentials. Yeah, this is what we promised. So this should go through. 45 people, we're gonna vote for it anyway. So hopefully is, yeah, hopefully six people can swing their brains that way. Swing their brains, that's not a, that's not a sentence. Swing their brains. What a stupid thing to say. Anyway, <laughs> that's um, that's passed, which is which is what we wanted. Let's get the I was gonna say let's get the research institute down, but we need prefabs. I guess while we're waiting for that, let's continue breaking down this way. There is another lot of prefabs here, so I think I would like to set up another extraction district on there. Uh, but yeah, once we've got food sorted, 
then we'll go for goods and th uh yeah then we'll go for goods and then we'll go for materials cool logistics district is up and running where are we going to send them that is the question basically anywhere anywhere we can we, we can send them to the sea of ice i'm not going to send them over that way let's send them down to the plains and yeah let's focus on getting that that food district up and running next just need the 200 prefabs for it which is quite a lot of prefabs to be fair I don't know if they've rebalanced any of the uh, uh, values and stuff I don't know why I was just doing a stupid layout there for that oil because <laughs> um, we've managed to get over to the prefabs um, as well in that one frost rate which was pretty decent oh I need that don't I we'll definitely get that built how much is that 150 prefabs you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna favor this extraction district first and that is because it's really gonna increase our prefab output and then we can build build things a lot quicker which is what we, ideally we want we still have a lot of, little bit of stockpile for food as well as a result of service exemption citizen in need have to bear the brunt of community service oh no oh no <laughs> don't worry about it it's fine um all right let's have a look mass produced goods ah what we need to do is childhood we do not want them feral children let's do family apprenticeship um and we will enact except all outsiders definitely that's one of the laws we want active pretty much the whole time because like i said we are going to use as many laws as many tactics as many things as possible to get that population up to the maximum so let's go for research first thing i probably think is coal mines let's do dust coal mine that gives us a bit more coal output we are plus 74 already but that's gonna that is gonna drop when we get to the colder season Cool, the music's the music's going for it, isn't it? We're, all we're doing is collecting prefabs. To be fair, that is an epic moment because we never <laughs> we always forget about that. So it's like, oh, you remembered for once. That's epic. Look at that little path down there. That's awesome. Absolutely awesome. Sorry, I was just taking taking it in there. <laughs> right, we are yeah we are seeing a significant significant amount of prefabs, plus thirty two per week. Love to see it. I think right we will start doing goods now i think that's what we'll do so let's clear up a little bit of area down this way and then we can try and do a sensible like layout here and and the reason i'm not doing food is because we do have that stockpile so we're going to use it uh, let's do like that that's like a big area isn't it and we are well we have got research going we could do another research institute to really speed things up i may do that yeah let's expand that let's put that research rushing on as well and we should start to see research uh happen like very very quickly which will be very useful uh, so yeah let's get this going i spot a a nice area there for a uh, for a little uh, hub there so let's see if we can get one of those in I think let's see a good stockpile hub or a material material let's put a material stockpile hub in there it does reduce workforce all over the place which is good and I am gonna need another industrial district because once we've got more people come in which is like right now we're going to have massive goods demand cool let's do the outsiders except all outsiders there we go hope we can get this through maybe should have negotiated but no there we go easy easy through let's go cool we had that coal mine didn't we that's all done now so i think we should do sawmills next let's do untreated sawmill because we have got that deficit there and um, there's a lot of materials over this way 
and that is not making anything ah, it's not making anything because we don't have the materials to make it that's what it is so let's get that sorted we'll break over here like this in fact we'll do a couple of these and then should i do we'll wait until that frost breaking has finished before doing anything population has increased we are still looking good on housing so don't worry about that food we still got the stockpile so that's good oh we forgot to have a look here didn't we so let's see crashed wagon note the bearing so that will go to the materials this one will go to fuel and this is salvage wreck so you got oh you got lots of stuff there so yeah definitely take that then over here we've got a huge herd yeah brilliant so we'll definitely take that as well um i probably need to expand the logistics district wherever that is gone ah, it's over here <laughs> it's over here yeah this will give us a few more frostland teams and then we can do more exploration which would be good let's get this extraction district up and running um so that's all good then we can expand into those three with that one and then one two three four five yeah we should be able to cover cover those materials like that look there's a lot of materials around here which is really good to see probably need an extraction district on that oil at some point but i am gonna i am gonna favor these materials so yeah that should be should be fine we'll get a sawmill down on there as well so lucky we found that stockpile, I'm <laughs> not going to lie. Because that's put us back in, like, in the in a good stand for for that. Uh, let's uh, send our teams out again, though. So we'll launch an expedition this way. It says we've found oil. I think oil was here. So that is actually good. <laughs> I like that. We found that very, very quickly. So the population is growing again oh that was from the first the first lot of people coming in wasn't it so that's that's fine um in terms of another research let's go for factories so the factories only give 40 goods output so i may do yeah let's do this one the food the bio waste hot house and then we can raise funds as well because we've got to that 50 week cooldown so let's get more of those Look, we've got so much money now so much money i think we will have a problem with prefab so how many prefabs are over here just out of curiosity 512 yeah we'll have to we'll have to be wary of that okay let's do a couple of things so we'll expand this district here just expand it like that and then we do need to change it to goods and then here I do want to expand that as well then I would like to expand this one as well but I don't think we yeah we can't just yet all right we can't do any more laws not yet anyway oh we can now so what other things do we need to do do so food additives goods actually would be good mass produced goods we'll negotiate to get this through definitely i think if we grant the agenda that's an easy one to do and then hopefully they choose a law that we haven't passed yet <laughs> and uh one of the tips i always say is get a law passed in every category because it really really does help it doesn't matter which one uh, just have a law passed in every single every single category I need to change that back to goods because annoyingly it always changes it always changes um back to prefabs when you expand it uh, cutthroat economy we'll let them fend for themselves they want benefits which is fine but i want the heat i want the heat stamps coming in that's what i want okay by the way salt house is done let's do let's do factory and i do need to get that food district set up don't i so yeah the thing we're lacking really now is is the workforce and that will that will slowly get better you know what i need to do let's get some more frostland teams going 
think that might be a be a good thing to do oh this has just run out so let's get rid of that that does free up some workers so we can use those for the sawmill here let's do it on that one that'll put us positive there we're looking good for fuel as well so we probably need a fuel stockpile hub going let's get that down there because we don't want to waste any time stockpiling fuel really and then another research uh, so in terms of frostland or actually generator upgrade one we are going to do adaptive no we're not we're going to do the one that just does oil that's what we're going to do we're not going to do adaptive pumps uh so let's focus on something else i think skyways or logistics bays let's do logistics bays because this does give more frostland teams we'll do the vanguard one why not overseers form in support of mass produced goods so these are the overseers overseers i see uh where are you give me some money you fund <laughs> you're you formed and then you're funding me um i will promote them as well and then we can do overdrive output to increase efficiency brilliant that's what we like uh we just we just need more workforce now <laughs> so uh we won't we won't mess around with housing I was, I was gonna say we could probably take some workers off but actually yeah let's do that we were still in the still in the positive so let's get one of these salvaging factories down over here and then we'll be in the positive for goods and then we've opened up a bunch of stuff over here absolutely fantastic so we've got cores and then analyze for research I wonder what that is. That is, a, that is a free research there, or we can do a stinkle. Let's do that free research. I'll, I'm curious what it is. A landmark, nothing there. We've got oil right there. We won't connect the trail yet. And then this is a huge source of materials. Saying that, I think we... Yeah, let's let's connect the trail anyway. No, we can't. Because <laughs> we haven't got... We haven't got uh, Frostland teams. Okay, what's going on over here? Overseers want to steer the city closer to their ideals. Of course they do. I am going to turn... This is a lot of food. But I'm going to turn it off just for now. Just so we do have the Frostland teams to send over. And I'll, I will get this... <laughs> I will get this food... Food district sorted as soon as I can. I just need those, those workers, don't I? Oh well, we're looking really good on on <laughs> materials and goods. That is what we like to see. The colder season has has just hit though. If we turn overdrive on, that does put us back in in the in the positive on that. The foragers are now looking good here. So I do need to grant a gender on the merchants, don't I? I forgot to do that. What have they proposed? Allow productive outsiders. Uh, we were right we'll change this back we will change this back definitely to allow all but allow productive outsiders for now just to keep them happy i think will be will be fine so let's get that passed and yeah let's build a few more things so we've got an advanced foundry oh that is what the um that's what the frostland teams brought back wasn't it so that's good i do want to build a dust coal mine definitely and I think that's good uh, yeah I think that's good for now I do not want to leave overdrive on though Look, everyone everyone's loving us de-radicalize overseers no don't want to do that okay what I need to do is actually prepare for those um, people coming in very very shortly so let's do another housing district there. I don't know how many people are going to come. But we will just expand a few of these districts. So that's good. Let's do a little bit more. Well, I was going to say do more frost breaking, but I don't have, <laughs> I don't have the workers for it now. Uh, cool. Family apprenticeship promises a better future. That's what we like. I don't know what these guys are doing. They are just like unhappy. So... We'll leave them. We'll leave them. 
Cool. We are looking. We're looking good all over the over the place, actually. I'm just going to put that back up, just because I don't want to forget. And we have got more people, a thousand more people, which is absolutely fantastic. The only thing is, yeah, we are we are really lacking food. So let's get this reactivated. We'll go over. Well, I was going to say go over there, but we're not going to go over, over there. We've got materials colony. We've got trackers shacks. Take those in, and then we've got three steam cores. Now in the materials colony, I don't really want that one to start with. Uh, what I want is the fuel colony or food colony. So we'll just yeah we'll we'll continue how we are. Ah look, prefabs have run out now. Let's get rid of that. And I think we may need another fuel stockpile hub. I'm going to put that down. Uh, let's put it, yeah, let's put it up here again. And we can expand this for more output. I'll expand it over to this side, just so it's far away from our housing. And food, food. I, oh, I, I said this at the very, very start. And I've only just done it. Actually tragic. Um, cool. Let's have a look. Communication hub, rail hub. No, we won't do any of those. I think Frostland Skyways is going to be the next one. So we are going to start um, transporting goods between places. We will do that definitely. Let's get... Uh, we're, still, we're still lacking on workforce though. So yeah, hopefully when people do come back, which is going to be in a minute... We'll have yeah, we'll have more more workforce there, which is good. Now, is there anything else we can do here that improves the workforce? I don't know. I don't think so. Definitely not funerals. And definitely not rules. Uh, let's do one on the food then, because we did have a problem with food. So food additives or forage additives. Sorry. Let's vote on that. I think this will go through. We they like everyone pretty much likes us so. I think it's more likely for it to vote in our favour if they if we have like a higher trust. So we'll, we'll definitely do that, and then we can do the Vanguard Logistics Bay there. Okay, that's good. What have we got? The lack of law regulating contagion prevention. Okay, so we do need to get that sorted. And what's this? Overseers rallies build support. Nice. Let's do more workforce. Definitely need that. It'd be cool if everyone rallied behind us. But these guys aren't going to. So, the labourers, what I'm going to do... Let's make them a promise, right? I will say... Accept... Oh, ah, no, that was opposite to what the merchants wanted, wasn't it, though? Let's do that one. Research equal pay. I think that would be a good, good thing to do. Okay, we are plus on everything. Uh, I'm wondering, do I just do another another Vanguard Logistics Bay over here just to get those Frostland teams? I think I do. I think I do do that. And food, you need 400 workforce for that Biowaste Hothouse. So, oh, and then we need a we need a we need a material stockpile hub. That's what we need. Oh, we need prefabs though, don't we? We need an industrial district doing prefabs. Okay, we'll, we'll get one of those set up. But now we've got 63 Frostland teams and Skyways. What more could you ask for? So the good thing about Skyways is we can now connect things up. But also, it allows us to connect up these outposts as well. Once we do another research, which I think... Oh no, hang on. Generator, turn that off. I was going to say I need to remember to turn that off, don't I? But I totally forgot. Anyway, that's fine. I've done it now. Um, this is work compensation, equal pay. Yeah, we've got lots of heat stamps coming in. And that is now off. Okay, so that's not causing any accidents, which is what we like. We have got a whiteout coming very, very soon. So I, hmm, I, I wish I had, <laughs> I wish I had the overdrive ready for that, but it, it seems like we don't have that now. 
um, or at least we don't have it to its full effect. Let's go for f uh, not funeral, sorry. When we wa uh, we wanted contagion prevention, I'm going to do supported quarantine. Let's get that voted through. This is going to increase the amount of shelter though, which is maybe an issue. Oh my god, it literally failed by one. Okay, anyway. Sick neighbours. Yeah, literally, it's um, it's telling us people are getting a bit angry about that now. Uh, we can raise more funds, so we'll do that. Not that we need it, but... Every little helps at this point, I think. Plus, they, they love us still. Look at it. They love us. Cool. Let's get... Let's get exploration going on out here as well. So we'll head down. Oh, no, we don't want to go that way because people will die. Dangerous, they'll get injured. Deadly, they'll die. Okay, we don't want anyone to die. <laughs> we do not want anyone to die. Or get injured, really. So I will get that. Oh, no, no, cancel that. That's deadly. Okay, let's, let's build the skyway. like that to that colony and yeah i think i think we'll we'll research the the buildings that reduce the risk next i think that might be a sensible way to, way to go because it would be useful going out there and finding more and more people uh, what have we got here bohemians have formed in opposition of the overseers man these guys i tell you they always cause me problems but we'll promote them for now. <laughs> we'll promote them. Ask them for some money. These guys, fund. I'm going to fund their projects. And you know what? I know I took money off them, but let's fund their projects as well. Just to try and get relations up all over the all over the place. Uh, Labourers' demands are met. That's equal pay, isn't it? Uh, so yeah, let's go back to the Frostland. So the survivors headquarters is yeah it that decreases the territory threat level so we definitely want that and then we can yeah help uh that really helps with with exploration cool we're still looking good on population it's rising steadily which is what we want at the moment we don't want to expand too much but also we want to do it like really quick um council gridlock stewards rule Consider enacted guided voting. Okay. We don't need that just yet, right? Um, oh, the rallies the rallies begin collapsing. Uh, can I fund their projects? I can indeed. That should let the rallies continue, I think. It would be good to get another research institute. I, I did say that before as well. But there's things like you need to prioritise, right? That's, that's the thing. And we are looking pretty good at the moment. It is colder. It is colder. And we've got oil coming in now. But we don't have the ability to use the oil, actually. Um, we may we may well just stick with coal. With minus 194 on it. Uh, this is the thing, right? This is why we need those Frostland teams. Because that's going to... Because finding the the resources and stuff out on the frost line is really, really, really important. Um, yeah, let's get that voted through. Equal pay. I mean, our heat stamp situation is not is not um, an issue at the moment, is it? <laughs> so, unlike all the other playthroughs that we've done, we literally have no uh, no heat stamps whatsoever. Um, an old enemy, the whiteout, is appearing in eighty days. You know what? We are looking good across the board here. I'm very happy with this. Uh, I do need to get another logistics district. Well, do we survive the white out first and then go for it? I think that's what we do. We're going to survive this white out. Then we're going to go for the extra, uh, the extra, um, the extra frostland teams. Just going to do a little bit more frost breaking over there to open that last bit of food. And then, oh, the prefabs, that was what it was, wasn't it? Industrial district, that's what I need. Okay, we'll wait for this next population uh, growth to appear. 
separated families we're going to keep a sele uh, strict selection there because we are going to just allow all outsiders at some point cool let's get another research on the way so i think we will do generator upgrade one and we're going to do oil pumps so let's research that this will mean it runs exclusively on oil which means we'll probably need to get the coal liquefactor and an extraction district going on the oil deposit down here so let's um let's do that all right so this over here that's got a lot of coal in it but we don't need that yet so i'm going to take that off use those workers over here i think that's the sensible thing to do we'll just do a, a really weird one like that <laughs> and then saying that we could do with a pump jack there's a lot this is there's too, there's too many things to do um melting deep deposits we can we can do that which is good sometimes well if you research the other one you, i don't think you can unlock that so what do we want to do pump jacks is probably going to be the the main thing here so yeah let's get that going just a regular pump jack i am gonna leave uh saying that we may as well just have this back up up and running because we did have that population increase didn't we uh right let's get some more expansion going oh some more expansion going over here i will expand this one as well Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to put a heating hub. Uh, see, I haven't really left any space for heating hubs or anything, so maybe not the best thing to, to do is put it down here just yet. But you know what? We're looking we're looking pretty good on, on heating. So, yeah, what do, I, what do I want to do? Oh, I think maybe another dust coal mine. Let's just put that one up there. Because we are we are still using coal at the moment. Oh, I've forgotten about prefabs again, haven't I? <laughs> oh no, the prob the oh, I forgot to do that. Damn it. Anyway, we they like us anyway. They like us, so I wanna you know what? Let's do infectious badge because I don't wanna have anyone like I don't wanna decrease the shelter and have anyone outside during this whiteout. So if we do have the support quarantine, then yeah, we're gonna um, maybe run into problems with shelter. Saying that, we've already got a problem with shelter, so let's get <laughs> get a couple more of these expanded. No, we can't expand that one anymore. Well, we can, but oh, let's do research as well. Just while we're at it, let's get that one expanded. We can definitely do that. And I think I need just to do more frost breaking. Oh, look, I can expand that one down that way. <laughs> well, it's not great, is it? But let's see. It looked quite interesting on the uh, side of this hill, right? Yeah, look at that. That's cool. Imagine living right oh, right down the bottom there. Cool. Yep, yeah, don't worry about that. Yeah, we're really putting our workforce to work, aren't we? <laughs> um, let's see over here huge source of food we've got another skyway uh, another another little settlement thingy and then we've got the motley machine let's connect this skyway up there we go did we did we go anywhere else i don't think we did Yeah, we, we need that survivalist headquarters now. Just to decrease the threat level. Oh, look, we're minus, minus on food. The hothouse is what we need. And we are full on... Oh, we're full on materials as well. <laughs> okay. Where are the materials? Oh, they're over here. <laughs> they're over here. Right, let's get rid of some of those that gives us quite a few 
quite a few back. I'm just going to use it for a hothouse, wasn't I? So yeah, let's get that built over there. Get that food coming back in. I would have liked a, a big old stockpile of that, but we cannot do that apparently. Uh, not yet any. Well, not, not now. We've left it too late. We'll put that on as well, the excessive fertilization. Cool. Uh, let's see what other laws. I think the last one is the funerals. Yeah, it is. So harvesting funerals. I like that one. It increases research speed, so we'll do that. Cool. Law passed. And you know what? We'll do the generator pumps after the whiteout because I'm just a bit worried that we're not going to have enough oil stockpile to get through. I mean, we could even just swap it out. If the coal runs out, we'll build the build the pumps during the whiteout <laughs> to try and get it to try and get it through. Uh, right. Let's have a look. Uh, in terms of heating again, we've got the pump jack so we can build those, can't we? Housing, insulation, yeah, let's do that. A special source of ironing uh, for the upcoming white out. And nothing lost, bio waste hothouse. The bio waste hothouse produces more food now thanks to uh, foraged additives. Absolutely fantastic. I don't even have, don't even have enough workforce for a material stockpile hub but we are going to see that in a minute because this is going to run out yeah look, that's running out of um <laughs> that's running out of fuel okay interesting let's get rid of that then that does give us a lot of workforce back and i think the best thing to do is get the survivalist headquarters built and try and find another source of either like fuel out there i think that might be a good idea because how long is that that will last for 48 weeks and then we can swap over to oil okay that is the plan here <laughs> that is the plan is it a good plan probably not but it's a plan so we'll go with it i could do dust coal mine on here couldn't i but I I want to I want to favor some other stuff. So one of the things I've been saying all along is the prefabs, but I still can't make it. Still can't make it. Oh, I need more housing though. Definitely need more housing because we're going to see a population increase very shortly. Okay, unfair stigma, infectious badge. We will build a hospital. I think that is probably a good idea. <laughs> so, yeah, let's get teaching hospital. Again, that increases research speed. Talking about research. Again, just don't have enough workforce. Okay, maybe it is time to start researching laws that will increase our workforce. I think that might be a good idea as well. See, so many, so many things we can do. Yeah, we just do not have enough enough workers. So now I think there are a few, yeah, there's quite a few people sick. So if we do sort out that sickness issue, we should be looking good, which... um Oh, we had more people. Yeah, more people just arrived. Okay. So let's get another research institute down. We'll get the teaching hospital down. And then I want to get an industrial district down that's going to make uh, that's going to make prefabs maybe get another goods factory ah we became we've run out of, run out of people again what we definitely need is another another expansion on the housing district family apprenticeship um we're going to stay firm because we are seeing issues with that Let's go promote there, try and get them back into rallying. Yeah, look, overdrive output, fantastic. That's what we like to see. Gives us that boost, and I do need that material stockpile hub, don't I? 
So let's get that like that. And let's put that back up. And then do another another research. So I think for yeah, in, in terms of increasing workforce or at least efficiency, we can do labor like this labor laws up here. Or worker shifts might be even better. So machine centric shifts, yeah. Workforce requirements decrease. That might be a good one to get through. Um, while we're waiting, let's see if we can pass one of these. I reckon we maybe we can't. We'll just have to do a lot of negotiating for it. So we'll do that one. We want to negotiate with these. Fun projects again, and then Bohemians. Uh, fun project. See now this, it's not going to go through, it's not going to go through, but we'll give it a go anyway, 67 required, oh 64, only 3 people, I need to go up to them 3 people and slap them, like, come on, come on man, actually slapping them, that's probably going to be what guided voting is, oh now we have to actually, <laughs> we actually have to keep those promises, okay that's fine, they're just, they are just, uh, these aren't they so fun projects that's good bohemians fun projects we've got loads of heat stamps and then the merchants fun projects beautiful beautiful so hopefully these guys are rallying for us very shortly that'd be really cool uh, but yeah let's get i was gonna say let's get housing sorted we just need just need one expansion which is right here. Try and make use of that heat bonus. Okay, that is that is all we can do. Cool. So we did have the scouts headquarters, don't we? Yeah. Let's send out more people out here then. Uh, so where was the fuel one? I think. I think it's going down this one. The oily husk. Yeah. Uh, it's going down here, so we need to get down here, but it's blocked by the storm, so oh, not ideal. Not ideal. Um, we'll just try and find the safe areas to go to again. So, yeah, here's safe, here's safe, here's safe. We're gonna open up so much of this, okay? That's that's gonna that's gonna be a, a good lot of exploration going on there. Uh, they've made steps towards the merit, which I guess is fine. And then we've researched machine centric shifts. So the idea next is maybe start doing doing like yeah, let's let's do go down this youth path. We'll do liberated youth, why not? And then we can start going to like planned parenthood and, and stuff like that. And that will again give us boosts to our to our population, which is the key here, right? That's the that's the main thing we want to do. So this is machine centric shifts. I do want this to pass, don't I? So let's negotiate with these guys. Uh, unproductive doing maintenance. Yeah, that will be good now because that is. I think that's the the one we've done service exemptions for, so we don't really need heat stamps right now. So we can we can definitely um, uh, overtake that. I think that's where where it gets overtaken anyway. Maybe not. Maybe not. Anyway, won't worry about that. We'll get to it when we get to it. <laughs> How many research institutes have we got? We got two. Let's go for another one. And you know what? Let's just rush the researches. Because then we can just get as many of these done as, as possible. We've got the trust, so we may as well use it. So it's good to think about trust as a resource, you know. So it's there, just, just use it, right?
typical merchant's demands are met. The whiteout has hit. Okay, what are we looking at here? We're good for shelter. Oil. Right, we do need to build those oil pumps now. So let's get that built. Coal is going to run out in a day. So we need those oil pumps. Come on. Beautiful. We're back. We're back in it. So we're still minus 275, but lasts for 49 weeks. And this is, yeah, this is, this is good. This is good. We're not, not going to have any issues here. The only thing, food maybe, but we can put that back on. Uh, that will last for 306 weeks. Amazing. And that's going to last for a thousand weeks. So yeah, there's no no issues everyone's nice and warm in there <laughs> in their asbestos lined houses what more could you ask for uh liberated youth um this may be a, let's just put it to vote it may go through it may not the main thing was this was we researched it to get onto the next tier of things oh that has gone through so that's good uh, so yeah let's get onto the next tier on society which is parenthood um We'll do dedicated motherhood. That's what we'll do. Because that increases population. We'll go out into the frostland again because our re well our exploration has finished over here. We've got food there. Nice. We've got another materials there. We've got another oil there. And we've got sun reacher. Okay, we are gonna have to start building trails back to the city. But we are doing good exploration, so that's blocked. Oh, has the storm passed down here? No, it hasn't. So that's still blocked. This is uh, it's still blocked. Okay, I think everything is blocked now. <laughs> okay, so we'll come back to that. I'm going to promote these guys. Maybe they can get us a rally going. Hold mind shaping sessions. Trust rises. And then we've got special overdrive output we can't do that yet these guys love us as well the radicalized overseers we don't want to do this it's just these laborers let's get them funded uh we've oh we've broken the promise to merchants man eh, whatever don't worry they love us still it's fine it's absolutely fine so this is materials running out because so we're gonna have to think about that uh plan well Dedicated motherhood was sword, wasn't it? Relationships. Then you've got relationship rotation. Population growth is significantly increased. Okay, that's what we kind of want. <laughs> uh, hopefully, we do not run into an issue here where we just expand too much. We need to grant a gender on these. I don't remember promising that. Oh, maybe it was. Maybe we did promise that. What's going on? Dedicated motherhood. Yeah, I'm. This may go through. This may go through. It could be close. Ah, it didn't go through. Oh well. We'll try again at some point. But yeah, let's do the grant agenda on that. Okay, and then more research. Procreation. That's what we want. We want to move towards tradition. Okay interesting watchtowers i'm gonna leave for now housing block might be good labor organization might be good to give us more workers efficiency and all of that let's do a housing block i'll do subsidized housing block because that gives us the most most capacity and i would like to try and get as many people <laughs> into that them housing districts as possible so that's done um, we're not really looking bad on any front, so yeah, I think we're I think we think we're good. The whiteout has passed right now. It has <laughs> okay. The storm leaves all negative effects are removed. Let's get back on uh, back out onto that frost land. Then we'll go down this way. Um, many scouts will be injured. Hmm, I don't want them to be injured. I don't, yeah, I don't want them to be injured, so I'm going to put another I was going to put another survivor's headquarters 
but we can't. So we'll do a little bit of micromanaging there just to get that going. It looks like we're good to go. So I am going to have to open up more materials, aren't I? Because once this depletes, we're going to see a big drop in, in that. Uh, this is relationship rotation. Now they didn't vote on it before, did they? The 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 parenthood one, dedicated motherhood. So we are gonna yeah, we are gonna negotiate this. Privatized alcohol production. Yeah, I think that might be a good one to do. Maybe it's not, maybe it is, maybe it's not. I don't know. But <laughs> we'll promise it. Cool. Alcohol. Let's get that researched. I'm not going to... Uh, I say I'm not going to do this, but it, I am. <laughs> We've got so much trust going on. we 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 gotta got to take advantage of it. Yeah, we've got loads of stuff. It, it, it is literally just the workforce. So... Um, what's this? Overseers support the steward, devoted relations. Nice. Uh, so we want to head towards tradition, really, which we're not doing. So I may start moving all the laws over to that way. Um, so we need to, yeah, that's really what we need to do to get to that uh, procreation uh, bit, don't we? Let's um, let's go back to heating. Now we're using oil. I think we may need the coal liquefactor. Uh, let's do the carry on one. That will allow us to turn the coal into oil. And yeah, we do have a little bit of a stockpile of oil going. Uh, of coal, sorry. Right, what is this? Bohemians rally. Nice. We'll say do more workforce again. Cool. We've got a little bit more there going. So that's absolutely fantastic. We can do another research. <laughs> we're doing. We're going through this so quickly. Uh, generator surplus injectors settlement heating. So let's do settlement heating. Right, the settlement furnace. This will allow us to turn our. Um, are like little outposts into real settlements that we can send people to. Uh, I do want to go over here though, don't I? So that is safe now to go to. This one requires 25 Frostland teams. Hang on a second, I had like 80 at one point. Where have they gone? <laughs> Where have they all gone? It's a bit concerning, isn't it? Where have they gone? So you've got tar pits. Um, yeah, we've got 80. There's, oh, there's, uh, right, that's what it is. It's taking a lot more Frostland teams to chart the areas now, which is fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, teaching hospital just to get some disease down. I think maybe we need another industrial district doing goods. But we... Uh, yeah, oh, they, they're holding a vote on privatised alcohol production. But also we are going to see a population growth happen very, well, happen right now. 2,200 more people. This is where we need that subsidised housing block. So we'll get two of those going. That should cover the, the demand. Can we expand this? We can. That will cover up to there. We'll turn on excessive fertilization as well. And let's hold this law on the private house alcohol production. I literally couldn't speak English there, but <laughs> you know what I mean? Everyone everyone wants it. I don't, I don't see why they would vote against that, to be honest. So that's good. Um, yeah, I, like I said, I do need to get towards tradition, don't I? So we'll attempt to do that. Uh, Avant Garde, Liberated Youth, Fund the Collective. Yeah, let's uh, let's just do it. We're nice. They're holding a nice, um, uh, like a nice, I guess, parade or something for the elderly. So we'll do that. Oh look, pro uh, procreation is now unlocked. Okay, interesting. 
Uh, mandatory procreation or, or birthing program. So this is significantly increased. Let's research that one because this is what we want, right? This is what we want. Everything to significantly increase our population. Saying that, I think it may be time to go and start another another one of these. So let's connect the path to it. I'm going to build a skyway off the bat. If I can, that is. Just let me double check that. I hope, yeah, I'm hoping I'm doing a skyway right now. <laughs> we'll connect it to there. And yeah, we've got these to unlock as well. So analyze for research. Yeah, I'll do that. Then we've got the fish. We're charting down this way. And then we did have some areas up here. Uh, 20 Frostland teams for that. Uh, let's go to there then. Cool. Yeah, it'll be good to get the other colony set up straight away. So manly mandatory procreation controversy. Continue. Oh my god. Um, we will allow objections. Our research speed is very, very quick anyway. So it, that just decreases the research speed a little. And then what we've got. Replicated from Frostland prototype. Uh, it must have been... I, there must have been something <laughs> that we've just got back. Advanced Pump Jack. That's what it was. That's actually really good. I'm going to build one now. That would be super helpful. And then I want to get... Um, the Carrion Coal Liquefactor. Definitely get that built. Start doing that coal. And then... Salvaging... Another salvaging factory. Because we are minus on goods now. By quite a, quite a bit. So we get those built. And you know what? This one, we can expand, can't we? Yeah, let's expand like that. And this has got... Um, 6.6 .6 million. And apparently prefabs as well. I don't know where the prefabs are going from. But... Oh no, they're not. <laughs> there's there's zero. I think it was just because this is over prefab, the prefabs we were picking up, wasn't it? So that's got a lot of oil, a lot of oil. So yeah, we'll get advanced pump jacks on there. And this is the radical law on the agenda. Okay, don't worry about it. Uh, negotiate. We'll, we'll get this through, right? We'll get this through by any means necessary. Workers dormitory, no, repeal that, no, I don't really want to do any of those. No, oh, labourers. Heat pipe watch, okay. Oh no, supported quarantine we could do. No, let's do the heat pipe watch, because we'll keep the infectious badge on, just so it's a bit easier on our shelter. Cool, the law has passed we should start seeing population increase massively now our population is soaring that's what we like so what we like to see let's go over to the glacier and yeah we're still charting out some areas so yeah that was a skyway that we built there so that's good i'm just going to send colonists as soon as we can and that will be the materials colony but apparently it's got everything but we shall see, right? We shall see. I'm not convinced it's got everything. And then we can start sending as many people as we want over there, really. Take note. So what's Enter running out here? I think that's coal running out. There is a deep coal vein, but I don't think we'll use it. I don't think we'll use that. Hearts out of rotation. Oh, God. Okay, so people want to stay... Uh, right. Um, let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. I don't want to do anything that stops pr uh, population increase. Uh, cool. The glide explored. There's a load of there's loads of exploration going on now. So we've got the Frostland teams back. 
So let's go send columns to there to get that sorted. I think one of the things depleted actually. Uh, so this goes to the fuel. Okay, so we definitely need to go down here. So yeah, if the fuel is not in this area here, I'm I don't know where it is. It's literally pointing this way. Whilst well, so we got more coal, I don't really want that. We'll take the core and take the meat. Yep, good, good. And then we've got these up here as well. Okay, 800 laborers. Yeah, we'll take those in and again take the core. Frozen desert, nothing there. Oh no, we don't have enough teams. We do not have enough teams now again. So that's, you know what, that's looking, looking good. Uh, what I will do research wise is, um, well, we want to do, uh, where is the one which allows you to change them into settlements? Ah, settlement heating. Okay. I don't remember researching that, but I think that must have come back when we, when we chose that free research from the Frostlands. So it will be quite good to get this one. Oh no, we can't can't do that and then this one's depleted okay maybe we have to build something for it not 100% sure anyway we'll, we'll, try, we'll explore that a little bit later right we are kind of lacking on heat stamps. I say lacking on heat stamps I'm just gonna go down the line and, and raise the money um, we'll promote these while we're at it do that to raise uh, trust then we'll raise funds do that to increase output raise funds and promote them as well and then raise funds there okay one thing we have been sleeping on I'm not gonna lie is this materials stockpile which we are not getting so if I put one of those down that will give us a bit more output or output capability or stockpile capability is the main thing we still got rally is rallying going all over the place and the money is coming in now the money is coming in in thick and fast cool that is still being built and that is still being explored okay we are looking really good we're looking really really good uh, lovers leap i see oh no r.i.p two lovers committed committed uh Unalived, not good, man. Anyway, we, we promised to do heat pipe watch. Let's do that. Okay, beautiful. Law passed. Nice. So let's see. Let's see. I think society again. Incubation. What's that? Population growth is increased. Incubation house. Oh my god. Okay. We gotta do it. We gotta do it. <laughs> this sounds really harsh. We're just literally growing babies in incubation houses. Uh oh, okay, it's just saying we've they've conceptual conceptualized it. Oh, it's quite scary to be honest. Um heat demand is decreased that's good we've got another white out coming very soon and another 2,000 people uh, let's get some more housing go one two that should again cover it uh, crime is now looking a little bit higher for my liking uh, so we'll start doing watchtowers and stuff uh, get a research going uh, so yeah, we'll do we'll do like watchtowers and prisons and stuff just to get that crime crime down because it's minor and but it is growing. That's the thing. And with the more population, the more um, the more crime you have. Oh, materials colony has been constructed. We'll head over there very very shortly. We've got two hundred coal there. Bonfire camp, take those in. And we've got a huge herd. Okay. Let's send these to the materials colony. But I still haven't found that fuel source, have I? There's another core there. 
Ah, we've got planes. It must be here. <laughs> it must be. We'll just head out to all of these areas. Okay, I think that's the edge. I think that's the edge. We've reached the edge. Or can we? No, I think maybe we can go further. Seems an awful long way. Uh, right, let's just check on this. Privatized alcohol law leads to increased alcohol consumption. Uh, stop drinking. Stop drinking, everyone. <laughs> but don't worry about it. Okay, let's get let's get this sorted. So this is the materials colony. We've got some coal gas, which is not going to be useful. We've just got a bunch of materials there. That is pretty much it. So everything is going to have to be sent over. Uh, so we'll transfer as much as we can there. Oh no, hang on. That is fine. So food is going over there because we've got that. Um, yeah, we've got that uh, outpost, haven't we? We'll send these to the city and we'll send goods back. You know what, actually? Let's let's scrap that because we can use the frost land. What we do need to send over here, though, is fuel. That's the main thing. So we don't want to send that. We want to send oil. Um, so we'll we'll put it up to yeah we'll we'll transfer that let's get that turned on and let's get building so we're gonna need 20 housing right now which is literally just one of these uh, we'll get the extraction district up and running and that is on an oil uh, an iron deposit so we're going to need a uh, foundry on there. Oh, we've got the law. So this is the... Oh, look, we've got this one. Dedicated motherhood. Okay, we are going to get this passed. Oh, look, that takes our trust right down. Maybe we don't do that yet. Maintenance duty. See, that's going to take our trust right down as well. Oh, hang on. It's already... Hang on, hang on, hang on. It's already taking it down. Maybe just the act of proposing it took it all the way down. Okay, we'll, we'll get it through. <laughs> we'll get it through. Uh, fun projects on there. Okay, so this is dedicated motherhood. Again, we just want to get that. We just want to get that population going as quick as we can. Start shipping them off to other, the other, um, what should we call the other, <laughs> the other places, the other colonies. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do goods here as well. And then we will just start extracting as many materials. As possible. See, the materials column we don't actually need at the moment. That's the thing. Uh, what have we got over here going? So our our production is down across the board here, and that is because we sent people out. Uh, we can get rid of that because that's empty. Uh, yeah, so we sent people to the new colony, and that's what caused our efficiency to decrease everywhere because it, it takes workers and that from like across the board. Uh, so we'll just re-get those up. Re-get those up to the maximum bit. There's not an English sentence again. But you get what I mean. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Heating. We could... Let's do... Yeah, let's do that one. Surplus injectors. <laughs> so this is the second tier. Materials. Yeah, materials is down a lot. But we do have this open now, don't we? Oh, that's empty as well. Okay, so we had two more. Oh no, that is that has been demolished. Sorry, we had two more. Um, no, we had one more extraction district that we need to get up and running again. So I may leave that like that, and we'll we'll, we'll rely on this one over here. So we can get that advanced foundry. Let's expand this as well. And that should give us 
a decent amount of materials that we can then ship back to uh, to the city. So we'll definitely do that. Yeah, plus eight hundred and six. Beautiful. Yeah, let's get let's get them back over here. So uh, yeah, that I guess that's. Or how much? We'll just send all of them. <laughs> we'll just send all of them over. Uh, this needs to be switched to that. And you know what? Let's expand it while we can. I know it's not the most ideal place next to the generator, but not fussed. Not fussed at all. Okay, in terms of more research, heat dispatcher, no. Drugs manufactory, <laughs> no. Uh, workers housing, housing distribution. Let's do, yeah, let's do merit-based housing. So that increases the amount of shelter we get per per district. And then we've got Bohemians rallies expand. Okay, more workforce, please. Definitely more workforce. Okay, we've got lots of, lots of things out here. So down here, let's see underground warehouse it's possible possible settlement ah so these are the ones we can actually make in the settlements uh, we've got old scout scouts point there's a 1600 foragers we've got the common herd we've got fuel colony there okay beautiful and then we've got coal so let's get this one again we'll do a skyway instead um i don't know how yeah i don't know what the best way to do this is actually can we go through Let's just go this way. What I really want to do is connect up to there. The thing is, it's a long way. So we'll connect that up. Then we'll go from here all the way. Oh my god, it's so far. <laughs> can we get to there? Yeah, we can. Nice. So that is a that is a long old skyway there. But it'll be good to get yeah, it'll be good to get that that sorted. Another 3,000 uh, populations has arrived. Absolutely great. The Iron Mountain, another stockpile of stuff there. Man, we are doing so much here. Uh, let's just launch expeditions. Yeah, right. Now, that is the edge of the map, <laughs> right? That is definitely the edge of the map. So what is what is this? I, I'm going to connect that Skyway to... Uh, I, don't have enough, I don't have enough teams. Anyway, don't worry about that. Um, I think we yeah we just will send as many people over there as we can. We've got twenty one thousand people in the main city. There's crime. Oh, that's what we were gonna do, isn't it? That's what we were gonna do. Crime. I knew I said I said uh, I knew I said I said something. I, I knew I said I said something <laughs> about about crime. Jeez, right? It's late. All right, I had a full day's work today. And uh, I always record in the evenings now, and my brain goes a little bit mushy. I'm not gonna lie. So this is why utter rubbish just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Anyway, merit-based housing is through. That's good. Turn on excessive fertilization again over there. Is there any other food in this area? Yeah, there is. Maybe we should like open that up in fact I think it might be a good idea just to get everything open at this point um, just so we're not so it, yeah if we do run into any issues then we will have it ready to build on so yeah let's just let's just do that I think it'll be a sensible idea what I would actually like is some uh, some cores that would be a really useful thing to get going uh, this needs to go full as well and let's get a fuel stockpile hub not too worried about it um, not taking uh, or covering the work the workforce uh, requirements so yeah we'll get another two of those going 
see, we don't have actually that big a stockpile. Something we need to really like <laughs> sort out. Let's see, we can now, look, there's a lot of, there's so many materials on this, on this map. So many materials. So that's all good. That's all good. I think everything is, is open. So we could probably do the same. And what actually would be useful over here is get into this logistics district. So let's start breaking this way. And yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll send more people over there. Uh, but first, I want to get that fuel colony set up. That's going to be the main the main thing. So the Bohemians absolutely love us. We'll hide those, hold those, promote those. I'm a little bit worried about that trust going away down, and I think it's because we've got things like the radical ideas researched. Uh, prisons. Let's just do isolation prison. And let's build some of these watchtowers. Oh, I don't have any space to put them. Okay. Interesting. Where can we do this? We can expand this. Let's expand that up the hill. Those are fuel stockpile hubs. I wonder if they cause any issues. No, we'll, we'll just build around those. So let's, uh, yeah, let's build up onto that onto that hill so we do have a few more um slots to build in radical researchers take a toll on researchers oh my god he's sitting with a gun in his mouth apparently and i think that's because yeah it's radical ideas isn't it i think that's what's causing issues here in terms of trust but guys guys you've got to go back to researching we'll just do one rust research because it does Decrease trust by quite a bit. Uh, desperate mother. Oh my god. We'll release her. We'll release her. We may need to do communication hubs, you know. We may need communication hubs. Uh, this one, alcohol banned. Alcohol rations. No, we'll, we'll keep that one because it is increasing trust. Maintenance duty, unproductive do maintenance. Let's just see if that votes. Um, if that vote goes through. I probably need to start doing some of those rule laws. Because having captain's authority would be very helpful. Would be very, very helpful. Uh, right, let's get the watchtowers down. So we've got one there. I swear we had... Uh, it was here, wasn't it? We need to expand it twice. We could even just put a prison in there. Yeah, we'll put a prison in there instead of a watchtower. Okay, we've got a trust issue. So, let's let's get that sorted. <laughs> because trust is, is one of the big things that we don't like to drop. Uh, communication Hub, we'll get that researched. What is causing this? Um, greatly decreased by rust researching... Extremely decreased by rush researchers, and yeah, it was basically rush researchers. <laughs> that's what that's what's causing it. Um, privatized, uh, oh, at least alcohol abuse. But the trust rises. Yeah, we'll we'll get the communication hubs down, and that will hopefully sort our issue out. Three thousand people have arrived. So, yeah, let's get that prison down to sort crime out. Um, we've got injector surplus supplies. We'll get that sorted. And then we want to do... What was it we wanted to do? Oh, we need, to, we need an incubation house. Oh, my God. Right, we remember to build that. What were we doing? Oh, communication hub. That was what it was. So, this increases trust in um in areas where uh well in districts next to it or at least housing districts anyway so i'm just gonna get as many of those down as possible oh it would be good it would be pretty good there and then we should see 
we should see trust start to rise again. We've got so many res I said that we've got <laughs> we haven't got many heat stamps now. Uh, so actually it would be good to get stuff increased across the board again so let's um right trust has been restored fantastic that's what we like to see the child market oh my god illegal trade in children spreads oh my god oh this is actually this is what happens when you <laughs> this is what happens when you um favor population growth uh, let's go down here and get this fuel colony set up so we'll send those people there that will decrease the amount of things we need in the main city but we just need to send them over there don't we oh, 1400 population some more coal uh, unfortunately we don't need the coal we will start collecting it up soon um let's quickly go back to the materials colony oh no that's the that's the um fuel colony right this materials colony let's um continue over to this way station because yeah more frostland teams would be super helpful right now just so we can start utilizing some of those other um those other uh, little resource deposits so especially like food we'll send that to the city uh, what else? What else do we have over here? We've got this food here. We'll send that to the city. I would like a, a materials one. And there's oil there. That's going to be really useful. And then food. Was this... Um, what was this? Uh, let's get that connected up. Oh, the whiteout's coming. <laughs> the whiteout is coming just as we're building the colony. Um, but yeah, if this is materials here, which I oh know this stockpile, this increase increases stockpile limits. Okay, and we can create a settlement, but that is not really useful at the moment. Let's send that to the city, and we'll connect this trail up as well. Um, skyway. I don't know if we need a skyway for this. But we'll do it anyway. It just needs to be connected to any other Skyway. And then that should get it onto the network. Researching. Society crime elimination. We won't go up there yet. Let's see treatment. So conservative treatment will do. Yeah, look, that increases trust a lot. So that's good. Um, let's see about these laws anyway. Uh, we, we may be able to do this, right? We may be able to get this through. Let's just negotiate with people that have the most on. So, uh, stimulants manufactory. Yep, we'll say we'll research that. Bohemians, what they want? Human experimentation or sterilization or youth. Uh, yeah, youth employment program. Let's do that. And then the foragers, that's got the most. I don't think this is actually going to work. So it could be close. We need 67. If we do get guided voting through, this will be a massive, massive help. And it's very close. Nah, 64 again. 64 people again. Okay, we have just we have just promised a bunch of things, so let's get on that. I'm saying that we'll use that. We'll get another hot house down on there. Youth Employment Program for the Bohemians. Uh, we'll research the Pathfinder Scouts. <coughs> and then also the Stimulants Manufactory after. Uh, crime is still... Crime is stable. And yeah, we are kind of looking at a heat stamp problem now. So, I think what we should do is... Oh, hang on. Children with rotations. Relationship with ro rotation and dedicated motherhood. Um, we need to repeal one of them. We'll dim dismiss it. <laughs> we'll dismiss it. Not our problem. 
Uh, this is run out over here. What was that? Oh, that was coal. So he's got the deep coal vein, which we're not going to use. So we'll get rid of it. And then I do need to get goods sorted, don't I? Uh, I've got another research to do. Oh, this is a radical idea. We need 200 heat stamps. Okay, we'll come back to that then. Um, industrial. Yeah, another another industrial goods district will be very useful. Let's take that all the way down like that. Uh, demand vote on Pathfinder Scouts. Okay, there the foragers grant their agenda. Oh no, it's already been fixed. Those are the foragers, yeah. We'll, we'll do that in a sec. Oh, I was going to raise funds. I said it, I was going to say it's probably time to raise funds across the board. Uh, we'll promote as well. Uh, not fund projects, raise funds raise funds and we can't promote but we can ah oh, no we can't we should have done that first <laughs> that's what we should have done uh cool let's fund their projects see if we can get it back up yeah there we go that's good i don't mind that because that increases production uh and yeah we'll hold the mind shaping sessions as well and then raise more funds or did we just fund their projects oh i don't know I don't know what we just did there. Anyway, we've got a, we've got a healthy healthy amount now, haven't we? Uh, there's a, you know what? There's a few things we can do here. There's a few things we can do. Okay, so we've got the fuel colony up. This is getting hit. Oh my god! This is. Um, yeah, this is getting hit by uh, <laughs> the storm. Hang on a sec, we need to get that sorted. So housing district. Um, yeah, we'll get the housing district set up. We only need one of them again, which is good. And then we just need to get the materials sent over, like the, the oil and that. So let's get that going. I can't even see the map properly. See, it's a bit ironic sending fuel to a fuel colony, but uh, we can't. Yeah, we don't need to. We can just turn the generator on. <laughs> That's fine. And then that should, you know what? That should be fine over there. Uh, guard immunity conceptualized. Okay, they're asking for guard immunity. Now this is conservative treatment. Okay, if this goes through, we should we should in, like really help our um, disease issues which it hasn't i don't know why people would vote against that absolute idiots absolute idiots uh we can do this stimulants manufactory now we are seeing a lot of squalor a lot of more crime uh, so let's get another watchtower going okay i think it might be time <laughs> to really really get some watchtowers down i said i I was going to say we maybe need to um, open up more ground, but we do have all of this up here, don't we? So let's get a couple more housing districts. We'll expand this one. Three thousand five hundred people live amongst us. Oh my god, we are flying. Our promise to the forest is broken. Uh, I can't remember what that was. I think it was Grant Agenda, wasn't it? Right. We are looking good, looking good, looking good. It's just that housing. Okay. So let's um, do Watchtower in here. We'll expand this one. And then I'm going to do another housing district as well. like that cool and that should cover us for everything we are relying on stockpiles here but that's fine because these will last for ages oil we're still positive so let's get another fuel hub going 
just gonna put it anywhere because I don't really care. <laughs> I don't really care. Overseas demands are met. So you fantastic. Again, let's do another research. I think we maybe go to generator upgrade three. Yeah, <laughs> I don't see why not. Um, stimulants manufactory. Okay, let's really go for this, right? We need the incubation house. I was going to do watchtowers, but we've, it seems to be gone. So incubation house, definitely. That increases population. And then... Um, We've got stimulants manufactory that goes in industrial area. Now, what does it actually do? I'm just a bit curious. Production efficiency goes up. Okay, <laughs> uh, I guess that's a good thing, isn't it? It's a good thing. Oh, squalor, squalor, and disease is an issue actually, and that is because of salvaging factory. Yeah, let's get a couple more. Uh, see, this is the thing we need. <laughs> need more housing districts and spaces in the housing district to be able to build the buildings that we need what's that incentivize fetus donations oh my god I ah uh, this man we have to use it just get that population that's really oh no I do not like that at all oh my god let's get this expanded one more time jeez louise now this has run out that was materials yeah that was materials we can start um, sending housing over this way can't we deteriorating structures yeah so that's one of the things we are really lacking 3,500 more people have arrived we will start sending them to the other colonies in fact let's do let's do that now right so I will just check they're out of the storm this one is out of the storm this one definitely is out of the storm so let's send people over ah oh, we can't because the storm is hitting our city that is that is fine. I think it would be a good idea here if we start opening up some of these. So we've got lots of prefabs over this way. We've got oil there. We've got oil right here. We've got oil there. What's that? Exposed to wind. I don't know why you'd ever build over there. But I want to get to that that um, way station there as well. Cool. Let's um yeah, let's go to this oil over there. And we'll get an extraction district on this one. And let's get some more housing going. Two, three, one, two, three, like that. Yeah, because we are gonna we are gonna send start sending more and more people over here. Let's go back to here. How long have we got left on this? I don't think we've got long. Yeah, we haven't got long at all, but we should focus on those squalor, squalor things, shouldn't we? So, filtration towers, moss filtration towers. Just, yeah, just get that down, because I think that is causing um, disease as well. Yeah, significantly increased by squalor. That's what's happening here. So yeah, it'll be good to get that going. Let's just repair all of the districts. Because they are they are breaking down. Which we don't want. So that's all good. I don't want to rush researches. There's literally no point. But there is a point to go to the Frostland. So... Yeah, let's... Um, the other thing we need to find really is the uh, food colony isn't it that's the that's the other thing we need to find uh, but yeah let's um so let's send some people over to the new places so definitely over here relocate you know what let's get 
Oh, let's get it to 10,000. I know it said it will deactivate some buildings here, but I just wanted to get 10,000 over to that to that other one. So, moss filtration tower done. Waste management facility facilities. We'll do the incineration. Yeah, because that greatly decreases squalor. So that's that's good. Um, I think we need to do some more extraction on materials here. So. Yeah, let's get our material production back up. We should really be getting it from here, <laughs> but uh, we've only got 200 people. I think, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll start really bolstering up these outposts. I think that would be a good, good idea. So let's uncover all of that. We'll just get a bunch of, we'll get as many extraction districts on there as we can. That'll be good. See, like another 3,000 people have arrived. Overseers begin rallying, uh, contribute more workforce. Yeah, that's good. And you've repeatedly over uh, funded the overseers projects. They love us. Everyone loves us. It's what we like. We do have this. We have 40 steam cores for that. What actually would be useful if we actually go out and find more steam cores? That'd be super helpful. Um, we're going through these, aren't we? Jeez. Uh, I'm not going to bother doing any advanced buildings yet because you need, uh, you do need um, steam cores for that. So I may start doing, doing these research idea, gleaning harvest hangar. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, I was going to. That's too many. This thing is so many things to keep track of. Let's go back over here. So this has got now got ten thousand people. So yeah, we need to work fast really to get to get this set up. So we can we can do that. That's fine. So expand that one. Expand this one again, like that. Let's get a nice little uh, communication hub in the middle there. You know what we'll do as well? We'll get a heating hub in the middle there as well. <laughs> it's pretty good. And then another housing district like that we'll just let this build and see how much we need I think we're gonna need another two another two yeah we're gonna need another two districts uh, I don't really want to go into that squalor uh, we can expand this one again so we'll definitely do that and then expand this one again like that that one's fully expanded. That one is now fully expanded. Get this expanded one more time. And then I'm going to need another housing district. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. And that one needs expanding as well. Jeez, there's loads of stuff to do. <laughs> Oh, what's going on? Problem with squalor. Yes, we are. We are sorting it out. We are sorting it out. I promise. <laughs> I promise. The city is like, uh, you've promised to sort this out five times already. Just why aren't you doing it? And I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but also, it's too much. There's too much to think about. It's too much to think about. You try being steward. I do want to find that food colony <laughs> as, as quick as we can. There's more food there. Yep, send that. Ah, this is cores. Okay, let's connect the Skyway up to there. So that's going to bring us cores in, which is absolutely fantastic. There's coal and there's more coal. Okay, where is... Where, where could this food colony be? I don't think it's down that way. Let's head up this way. Oh, we don't have enough teams. Okay, we've got two expeditions going out there, haven't we? 
So going back to here, we need to send send stuff. So food is going over. Uh, let's go like that. Send all ma as many materials as we kind of need to. Same with goods. Transfer, transfer, transfer. I do meet demand on that. And that is looking good as well. So, right, that is fine. This one. Let's see. That is that is well good. Look, I, I don't know why we've got so much food going to the materials colony. I think we've got the the Frostland thing set up, haven't we? So let's send that to to, to the city. We'll send this one to the city as well, and I think that's what's yeah. Those three there causing causing that, which is not an issue. Like it's not too bad. I'd rather it go to the main city than we distribute as much from there. Just to keep things like just so we can keep track of things really. Uh, let's get the moss filtration. Get two of those going. And then we will build in a couple of these goods districts. Uh, I say that. We built one? I think we built one. Yeah, <laughs> we built one goods district. And the point of that. Uh, the point of that was to um, be able to put the wherever it is the waste incineration plant in it and while we're at it we may as well put the salvage and factory in there as well because our goods yeah our goods production is now it's now very very low in fact I'm gonna need another <laughs> I'm gonna need another one Yeah, then that, that should do it. Oh, saying that. Oh, disease weakens the workforce. Uh, we've seen, yeah, right. This is because we've got squalor. That is that is purely the reason here. Um, oh, I say that. It's extremely increased by salvage your factory. So maybe it's not the, not the only reason. Let's get another hospital down, I think. That should help decrease. And yeah, another fuel stockpile hub, I think. Uh, materials let's expand that and I wanted a couple of sawmills in there but we only got one the hot house is still going let's put that on I know that's gonna increase disease but I don't I don't care at the moment <laughs> I don't I don't care I think we've got a couple of things we've unlocked oh conservative treatment yeah let's try and get that through again Will it go through? I'm not 100% sure. Oh, it will do. Okay, that's good. It'll be interesting to see what the other one is. Uh, so we've got freight docks down here. I think we just need to... Uh, let's just do some of these because I feel like when we get to some of the, the later... Some of the later... Um, what's it? White outs. We may run into issues. I was gonna say yeah, this is ex this one. I think when we expanded it, it changed. Yeah, it changed back to prefabs, but it still doesn't hit our demand. And another three thousand people just arrived. Uh, let's send these over to the materials colony. I will send that many over. I don't want production to drop to drop here while we're at it. Did we... Yeah, we opened this. I think it might be a good... Yeah, when they arrive, we'll send more... We'll get more logistics teams going. And then here, let's go again. Logistics. Did we make it over there? Yes, we did. We'll just extend that all the way down. So I'm wondering, right, if we are going to run out of space, you know... We, we could well run out of space here. Colder season heat demand is increased. But it looks like we're still doing well. Which is the main thing. Uh, I probably need to set up the other... <laughs> the other um, fuel... Like extraction districts over here. So we'll, we'll do that as well. 
uh, Asylum Conceptualized. The Lunatic Asylum. Mm, I'm not sure about that at the moment. Yeah, I really need to focus. This, this is the problem. Something happens, I get distracted. And I'm like, oh, I need to do that. Oh, rapid filtration. Uh, we don't really need to use that now because it's diminishing. Okay. What are we focusing on here? Oh, I think we need to focus on materials, don't we? So we sent more people over. Let's get a nice area. Um, a nice area broken so we can start building and really output as much material as we can. Ideally, we don't want to be doing anything else over here. Everyone's just going to be collecting material. And we do have goods production. Uh, but I feel like we should probably send goods instead. So... Uh, what have we got in the main city? Yeah, that's that's fine. We'll send we'll send materials back. Then fuel colony. Yeah, we need to. I need to start extracting, don't I? Oh, did I not open? Oh, I didn't open that <laughs> that bit there. How annoying! But I have got this one open here, so. We'll get extraction going. I wonder if we may... Yeah, let's open it up a little bit more. Because I need to... I, I, know, I need to utilise the space much better than I am. Uh, what else have we got on the law? I can't remember what we what we did. Oh, scout straining. Path finder scouts. Yeah, this would be good. If anyone votes against this, against this I'll be very angry. Because this is a good thing. Okay, that's good. I'm not going to be angry. <laughs> I very rarely get angry. In fact, I never get angry. There's like no point. There's literally no point. It's like, oh, whatever. It is, it is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. Geothermal plants. We're not using those. Um, okay. Heating is all good for now. Goods factories. This could be actually really good. Yeah, let's do that. That will output more, more goods. <laughs> so definitely worth it. This is running out. Of, run out of those. So let's get some more materials sent over. And yeah, let's. I think materials is the big thing here, isn't it? Now we are running out all over the place. Oh, we didn't do housing over here. So let's get that built. Then we'll just get another two built, I think. That should meet the demand over there. Incubation house incentivizes people to bear more children. God, oh my God, they're literally birthing children just to give them to the incubation house for money. What can we do about this? Um, what can we do about this sickness? That's the main, that's one of the big issues now. Maybe, maybe another hub, maybe another hub. 27,000 people here. But yeah, we can do it like one of those medical emergency hubs, I think. Another another lot of people arrived and we've got a, the goods factory has been proposed. Let's do hubs though. Um, emergency medical hub. That should help. That should help a lot actually. So we have goods that are going on all over the place over here. So that, that's that. Again, I need to expand it one more time. And goods factory. Uh, maybe can we get... I was say, maybe we can get two. May, we've done three. We've done three. Why not? <laughs> done three. Yeah, look, we're massive, massive on that now, which is good. Grey Market Stimulants Manufactory. Promise to... Oh my god. Uh, meet the demand or crack down on peddlers. Let's just say that and we'll build another one. Whoa, we need to build six. 
Oh my god. Okay, we maybe <laughs> maybe that was a mistake. Maybe that was a mistake. Um, let's just let's just break a bunch of ground over here and just and just get it done, you know. And it will increase. Well, it will have a, like a passive effect of us building more goods districts, which increases the amount of goods we we get in. I think I should send more people over here though to the materials. Just while we're at, uh, I say that. Can't send many over there, but we can send a, a little bit. Uh, yeah, we're looking, we're looking, we are looking good over here. To be fair, we just need to. Uh, that's population transfer. We're already doing that. I didn't mean to do that. I was meant to do this. Send goods over there. Okay, and then this is where we're going to do the extraction district. So we'll do that one like that. I do want to get all of these expanded as well. That one like that. That one like that. And then I think that is fine because we don't have enough workforce. So that is actually a decent amount. Three extraction districts. We've done the emergency medical hub. Look, we're plus 900 now. But we want more. <laughs> we want more. So let's get that expanded. I will expand this one down that way. And this one will just expand like that. And I'll get sawmills and stuff on there. Uh, we've also got uh, we've got this down here, haven't we? That's providing a lot of a lot of stuff, isn't it? A lot of materials. So that's all good. Um, I do need to remember to build <laughs> uh, build that. Um, emergency medical hub but this one look this this will um hopefully does it uh, reduce disease yeah pharmaceutical laboratory yeah let's do let's do that um uh, let's get back out on the frost land this is the thing we're looking for isn't it uh, yeah we'll take those back take the cores there's a landmark there so we'll carry on take the coal and then take those lot in launch expedition over to there and i really hope we'll find the food colony the uh oh wow yeah we definitely need to find the food colony because we've run out of food um we did have actually yeah we've got this lot of food here so kind of need to get that going don't we Do a little bit more frost breaking around it. So yeah, we'll just replicate that district we had over there in this area. So I need to get that expanded just to cover that one. Um, materials we need to send over to. Ah, right, we've we've run out of capacity here. So we need to get that sorted now. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah, let's get that built. And then we get another one in there as well. So that was the two, wasn't it? We still need those stimulant factories. And they are expensive. I tell you, expensive stuff. So we need five. So let's go one, two, three, four, plus... Oh, press a... Press the wrong button there. So that's good. Is there one we can expand? I don't think so. Maybe we can expand this one? Yeah, we can. Look at that. So where can we expand it to, though? Nowhere. <laughs> we can't expand it nowhere. Uh, more frost breaking then, isn't it? How many weeks we got? 29 weeks left for that. I hope that doesn't screw us over, you know. Okay, more people have arrived. <laughs> right, we are get, this is getting a bit out of hand now, I'm not going to lie. Uh, we're up to 33,000. I think that's why we need so many stimulant factories. It's because we've got such a high population now. Span that like that. 
that one can't be expanded. Let's get another one after a bit of frost breaking. So that's that's good there. I really hope we find that food colony very, very soon. Okay, we've done research. It was, yeah, it was these freight docks now. So this increases the Skyway capacity. I'm going to do the automated one because that's 500 capacity as opposed to 300. So that would be good to get through. And let's build a couple of these. One, two. So we need another three. So that's an... That's the third one there. So we should need two, right? We should need two left. Oh. It's causing tension, I think that said. I don't know, I kind of skipped it. Okay, we're minus 82 on housing. Um, I think we need to get that sorted ASAP because we've got the white out coming. Uh, maybe subsidised housing blocks and everything would be good. I think that might be a good idea. Um, more districts. We just need to sp just need to spread out. We've got a nice area, actually, over here where we've. Um, well, I say that. Look, there's a few material deposits and stuff. Maybe we just break into this area. And start building up this way. Yeah, we'll just do one more, and then we'll, we'll then we'll start with housing. Oh, saying that I needed one more of these, didn't I? Getting all those bonuses. <laughs> right, we need we need three. Right, we need three more. So stimulants manufacture. Okay, maybe I've done this wrong. That's in prefabs. This one should be doing goods. Okay, this one needs to... Uh, that's expanding, I think. And let's just do another one. Uh, we'll just do it. We'll just do it here. Okay, let's go back to here because... We, like I said, we want to find we want to find that food colony. Oh my god! Yeah, here we go. <laughs> we found it. <laughs> it didn't. Only took five hundred weeks. That's like ten. Hang on, five hundred weeks is ten years. Damn. Back in my day, ten years ago, we never had food colonies. That's what we say. Uh, shoot it down there. Through there to there. It would have been easier if we just <laughs> if we explored this and did it straight across, but whatever. It just goes around. It's, it'll, it'll go on a nice journey on the around the frostland, won't it? So that's all good. So this is ah look, we don't have enough housing over here. So let's get more housing going. I think I'm going to have to start doing subsidised housing blocks because I want to get more people over this way. Yeah, I'm just going to put them in any district. <laughs> I'm just going to put them in any district. We'll send more people over. Um, we'll get it to 10,000. Oh, I say that. Yeah, let's do that because that then gets us to 10,000 over here which is one of the one of the objectives for colonizer frostland and then we should have well it's just that food colony isn't it how many have we got here minus 47 so yeah let's start building those housing districts uh oh can i sneak one in there i can look so that's one I just need three and then we'll expand them after that's two and then we'll get i'll leave a gap there but one two three one two three there you go that's housing demand sorted Sis, uh ah we need the stim the stimulate yeah the stimulant factories 
Do we even have enough space for them? I think we're going to fail that. <laughs> I think we're going to fail that one. That's an absurd one anyway. Um, following Cornerstone can now be researched in the idea tree. Okay, servitude. Those who fall behind cannot fend for themselves and take into custody of the city. Okay. We'll come back to that. <laughs> we'll come back to that. Let's do a little bit of relationship. Uh, I guess. Um, fixing <laughs> here. Just to make sure we are not failing on anything. Okay, we're back. Good on housing. And we did the logistics, didn't we? Automated freight dock. That was the one. So we'll see the, the population increase. Come on, that should be any second. Yep, another 3,500 more people. Can we get the automated freight dock built? No, we can't. <laughs> because we do not have the slots for it. We can do it in another area, though. So we do have the one over here, don't we? So let's get that expanded. Oh, that is not that is not a good that is not a good look over here. Maybe on a yeah. Let, I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of this and we'll do it again. We we'll definitely do it again over here. It was a it was a silly thing to do anyway. Uh, promise broken. Trust falls. Uh, not too much though, so that's fine. So yeah, let's do that properly there. And then we'll expand it straight away. Oh, something happened. There was a... There was a gong. Oh, that's what it was. May I think... Did, did anyone die? I don't know. I don't think anyone died there. Anyway, we are now lacking on, <laughs> lacking on housing again. So we'll do that. Expand, expand, expand. See, disease is still is, is starting to get out of hand again. Um, it's stable, so let's try and... Oh, it was that emergency... <laughs> the emergency hub, wasn't it? I always, again, I always forget. I always forget about doing stuff. Uh, can we get one up here? Uh, we'll put it there. We'll put it there, why not? And then we probably need fuel hubs as well. Let's just build these anywhere. Uh, fuel hub. Fuel hub there. We may have to do a little bit of a re recalculation. Or redesign on, on some areas. But that's fine. Cool. This logistics district is now built. Let's get that expanded. And we'll get the... Um, Automated freight dock. Ah, why can't I build that in there? What what did I do? Yeah, that is a logistics, okay. Automated freight dock. Hmm. Don't know why that's not letting me build it. Underground economy. Um no one is complaining about stimulus shortage anymore. Okay. I think they're making them themselves, which is not not ideal. If they want to do it, I guess it's up to them, isn't it? Um, let's expand like that. And I get another emergency medical hub right there. And then while we're at it, might as well do a communication hub as well. Okay, we have got this sorted so that's coal there that's more coal uh, we'll send colonists over to to the food colony so that is that is absolutely fantastic we've got all of those sorted what is going on here 250 materials sheltered camp take those in okay so this is where we can start doing settlements and i am gonna start doing these properly so 
these will be massive helps. Just get that connected. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't quite reach. That one does though. So we'll get that built. And I think I need to do this one down here, which is the stockpile one. Not that one, sorry. This one. Ah, oh, this is already done, but we have got a settlement. So let's send people there to maintain it, and we can expand the operation. Can we do it one more? No. So I don't know what this is doing now. It remains a former outpost built there next to military. Okay, it just increases the... It just increases the stockpile limit, and we've got 1,600 people there. Okay, I think that is fine. <laughs> I think that is fine. We should see our stockpile a lot bigger now, which I think it is. Yeah, that's 550,000 now. Just waiting for more workers to appear in the main district or the main the main city. Okay, what are we doing now? What are we doing now? Uh, all of those are researched. Outpost operation. Production efficiency and outposts is increased. So yeah, let's do that one. I wanted to do those skyways, didn't I? Let's just see about this automated freight dock. And I don't know, I honestly don't know why it's not letting me build it. Do I just click it? Oh, I do just click it. Oh my God. Okay, that increases the amount we can send. So now we can send 1,100. So let's get as many materials that way. We'll send goods that way. And we'll send... All right. The materials colony was cold. <laughs> so we'll send oil that way, definitely. Maybe more oil. So that... Yeah, that's materials. So that's... That's fine. And then this one... I want to send all of that there, don't I? Okay, that's good. This is now... Is, what, is that off? That is off, because we don't have any fuel over here. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I didn't build these, did I? Actual mug. This one as well we need. And then we will get pump jacks and, and stuff on them. Oh, I got another white out. I didn't even realize. Okay, I think we just caught that in time. Damn, that was close. Uh, extraction, advanced pump jack. One, two, three. Those advanced pump jacks are good. 180 oil output, you see. Um, so we definitely need that over here. Can we send more materials this way? We can indeed. I don't know why it's gone to plus 500. I don't want... I don't want plus 500 going over that way. They can have plus 40. And then... That is... Yeah, that is that is fine. We'll wait for these pump jacks to be built. Because we will need to send more fuel to the main city. Angry labourers go row more radical. Okay. We'll, we'll... We'll allow the initiative. What is this here? Extraction strongholds. Okay, this is what we um just researched, wasn't it? Uh, will it go through? I don't know. No, it's not. It's not, isn't it? Okay, let's just again just more 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 research. As much as we can do. Panaceum factory. Uh does uh, we don't need that. We don't need that. Don't need any of that really. Asylum, no. Oh, I'm really, I'm really stuck up to do. Maybe labor organization. Let's let's do mandatory unions. Because we don't we don't want to ruin trust and all that. Um I want to send a few more people over that way as well. Just to get it to the ten thousand. Yeah, we'll just get it to the 10,000 there. Fuel colony. Okay, we're now plus 1,000 over here, which is absolutely fantastic. I will expand these as well. So yeah, let's get those expanded. We'll get this one expanded. 
get that expanded that will really help our uh, output but mainly I want to get that sent back to back to the main city transfer that and then we can transfer that to the materials colony you know what the materials colony is not looking too bad so that's fine we do need to send it to the to the food colony don't we uh, so that is a coal outpost yeah i think there's there's not much we can do oh look there's there's that materials one so restart the machine okay yeah so we'll send people there definitely and we will expand it so that's fully upgraded that's got 2000 population now and that is sending 600 materials to the city. Okay, we are looking so, so good. So, so good here. Except everything has, <laughs> has decreased in efficiency because the workforce was sent away. So let's get that, that going back. Oh. Back up to maximum. We're plus on everything. Population is still soaring. Would like to know what's have we got a um an overall population of well I don't know if there's an over overall population like of everything. I mean it would be good to good to know. So thirty five thousand in the main city. Uh, let's uh, did we we did send people over to the food colony didn't we? I'm sure we did. Oh, yeah, yeah, we did. Okay. It's still still being uh, built. Let's, just, again, just send send people out when we can. So we're looking... You know what? We are looking actually really good. Medical descent. Uh, conservative treatment. Maintain strict oversight. Definitely. Okay, let's just get these back up to full full whack um cool what now <laughs> now what let's uh let's see the i think the, the thing would be getting that food colony up and running we've got so many materials and stuff maybe one thing we do need to think about is food because yeah well let's say that the food colony is going to be set up at some point fertilizer use intensified yep that's fine and the f yeah the food colony is now is now up and running okay let's go over here quickly we'll do a bit of trade get get it set up and i want to get the t i want to get the 10,000 people there fairly fairly quickly and then it will just be a case of just you know really 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 smashing out as much population as we can by any means necessary I wonder if we can build another incubation house. That might be a good idea, you know. If we can do it, that is. There's definitely a few things that we can trigger. But look, oh, look at this. It's so. It's, this is this is like the the flat plains one, which is quite well. It's very barren, like the barren wasteland. Let's get the generator turned on anyway. And yeah, let's get housing sorted. The thing is this, you have got a flat space. Um, the food, there's a lot of food. And there's some oil there as well. But we're mainly looking for food, aren't we? So let's do a kind of a good layout here. I mean, I don't think we need to really, but... Saying that, we only, we only need one. We only need one district right now. Oh, actually, we'll set it up properly, right? We'll set it up properly with a bunch of housing. Uh, let's go one, two, three, one, two, three. The storm hits the city. Okay, I thought we already had to hit the city. Hang on. I actually it probably didn't reach the city by the time. Okay, yeah. It's only just hit the city. That is fine. 
food is gonna last 288 weeks so yeah we're looking good again young doctor goes mad I see just don't go mad just don't go mad um, mandatory unions yep we'll vote on that this will give our uh, give us our trust all the way up amazing the law has passed it's now in force okay Uh, would I think we? <laughs> hey, what is this? What is this? Famine. Uh, yeah, whatever. Just do it. I think we're okay for laws now. You know. Uh, this one can go full. Is this running out? No, that's got f six million left. And yeah, we're not going to be able to send people over there while the storm is, is going on. But I think that's fine. Hasty overburn waste incineration facility. Okay, we'll burn waste efficiently. Because they're just chucking anything in there now. Anything into the waste recycling or waste incineration plant. No matter what it is, it's getting chucked in there. Uh, we'll send more food over to there. This is uh, this is fine. Right, we do need to send more stuff over that way. Oh, I didn't do that very well, did I? Okay, that'll do. And then transfer to the food colony. Man, we got so many goods. <laughs> and that's because... We had a bunch of. Well, we kind of went mad, didn't we? On um, on that uh, food colony, we can send back to to there, can't we? Cool, looking looking good, you know, looking good. This one as well. Get that going. So squalor is an issue over here. Let's get some of these moss filtration systems down. And we may need a waste incineration plant. We will see though. The, th the reason that there's a load of squalor is because we've got those advanced pump jacks. That's what it is. But it's looking, you know what, it's looking, it's looking pretty good over here. Uh, over this way, let's get food production sorted. Another 3,000 people. This is literally, literally going crazy. Oh, and the storm's hit. <laughs> the storms hit over here and we're, we're massively down on on heat so uh, let's go here we'll transfer that fuel over oh well hang on still still not enough one sec that works I'm just doing a little bit more or a little bit less sorry Where is I'm just seeing up here this heat okay that's it cool that's fine and then it's just a case of frost breaking which has happened and getting that food district up and running on there with a hot house on there that'll be good uh, yeah let's get the byways hot house on there and we can expand this as well, can't we? Okay, absolutely fantastic. Looking good over in the food colony. We do need to just send send people over there though, don't we? Uh, let's get that going again. Storm has left, which is good. There's just a lot of squalor. Look at minus 200 on, on goods again. How are we ever, right, how are we ever going to not need goods, <laughs> do you know what I mean? With the amount of people we're getting in, that is that is a big issue, because we, the amount of goods you need is just ridiculous, so maybe the, the centre, like our main city will have to be just doing goods, I think that's what it's going to have to be. 
takes a long time to save, doesn't it? <laughs> once it's um, once the population gets quite high, it's taking a long time to save. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Okay, we've got a lot. Ah, right, that's why because these are got destroyed, so we'll just fix them, and that should that should get us back in the uh, in good standing with the goods. Man, I'm saying goods a lot, aren't I? Let's put that rapid filtration on just to get that squalor down. Cool. Let's wait for that next population growth to hit and then we'll send them over to the food colony. While waiting, let's just set up this properly. So we've already got more housing districts, which is good. I just want to expand all of these. So yeah, let's get those expanded. Cool. These are not my <laughs> these are not my best district layouts. I'm not gonna lie. Kind of at the stage of like just get it down. Just get the just get them down. Cool. That's the population increase. Ah, we still can't send them over because the storm is is here. So we'll just wait for the storm to leave. Say it's getting colder, but should be should be fine. We're minus three hundred and sixty over here now. Jeez. Okay. Send more fuel. Okay, that's looking good. Then that's looking good. Okay, the, well, I think the storm has left. So let's send those workers over. We are just going to get 10,000 over there. I don't care that it's going to um, deactivate buildings in the main city. We can always get those sorted. Hungry for more mandatory unions. Um, bribe the leaders. <laughs> 200 heat stamps. Fuel stop hub. No, what's that? That's the materials. Okay, we'll get rid of that. Oh look, materials are now now minus two nine three. So yeah, we need to do more materials over that way. Oh look at that! We're already sending maximum amount of materials. So I think we need to go back here. Ex this is expanded already. So let's get another automated freight dock there can we do one in here as well no we can't <laughs> I, we can't we've got the two slots filled there already so yeah having another another lot of automated freight docks is gonna allow us to send more stuff so let's see if that is true yeah 1600 now so yeah let's send as much as we can over Okay, looking good. Looking absolutely fantastic. So let's just have a quick check-in. So we've got 10,000, 20,000, we'll have 30,000 there. So we'll have 65,000 people so far, but we are gonna go as long as we can. Oh man, okay, right. I don't want to keep bribing them. I'm just going to let them do whatever that is. Because we are looking in really good stead. Uh, so you've got the 10,000 in each colony. But yeah, like I said, we are going to continue and go as long as we can. I've just had a, a thought. <laughs> um, I don't have endless mode on. So I think the captain can die. You stopped bribing union leaders. Okay. Trust falls slightly. Don't worry about it, guys. Don't worry about it. Uh, generate upgrade three geothermal plants. Uh, I don't think we need any of that. Maybe heat dispatch and deep melting. Let's do deep melting drill, right? That's probably going to be the best one. Out on the frost land as well. We can do more exploration. Yeah, we'll just. Uh, I would like to uncover the whole map. <laughs> it would be very cool. Got so many little 
outposts and stuff going on out there, which is very, very cool as well. But there we have it. All the problems are solved. We've got all of the colonies set up. We fulfilled the ambition. This is not over though. In the next video, we are going to just continue this playthrough and we're going to go for a maximum population either until the game doesn't let us or my computer breaks, whatever comes first. So make sure you subscribe to the channel for that. But for now, stay safe, have fun. I'll see you on the next one.